and the waffles. Waffles are fuck. <laughs> <laughs> To this week's press conference. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for having been so long since the last one. First of all, I was scared to follow up Big D's press conference. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, in the words of Sam Ellinger, we're back. He just set such a high bar. And secondly, we've been super busy here in senior year. But getting back into it, a lot of news has unfolded. First of all, those parking lot closures uh, over by the villas, which we talked about, were totally warranted as they're now adding on to the SDC. Um, secondly, the parking lot closure behind Best Hall that blocked you from getting to the depot is now cleared out. You got free reign to the depot. Go run, get your burritos, get your American night, whatever you want to get at the depot, it's open. Hopefully there will be a first Friday tomorrow as it is the first Friday in November. Free lunch for uh, commuters and other people that already probably happened in the past when this is coming out. So put in the comments below how the first Friday was. And lastly, I had something to talk about, but I don't really remember. So I'm going to open it up to questions from the pool. Brett Smalls here, Toledo Blade. Quick question for you. As you know, the winter season is fast approaching, and so does the sicknesses spreading around campus. But possibly the most severe one is senioritis. Have you contracted this severe disease? Um, I have not. Uh, personally, when it comes to sickness, I believe that if you don't believe in the sickness, you can't get it. And also, considering I've had senioritis for four years now, I'm not sure how you catch it your senior year. Uh, next question. Michael Cruz, Auburn, Indiana, 260-4676. So, Travis, in your hiatus, um, there's been people talking, I've heard a rumor or two, that you have been meandering. Can you confirm or deny? Um... There's possibly been some meandering going around, but mainly it's been confined to me doing homework in my room. Thank you. Uh, thanks for bearing with us over this short break, and hopefully you enjoyed this and the rest of the video coming. Welcome back to CAF News, folks. First of all, it's been quite a few weeks, so we got quite a few news. First of all, Teresa was spotted in a breakfast burrito one of these Mondays. Crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. The syrup scoop has been re replaced with the syrup pump, and apparently there's been a lot less syrup lying around near the French toast, waffles, and pancakes. Um, also, I've heard the serving size at the depot has been minuscule lately. Absolutely tiny. How are we supposed to get our one swipes worth, you know? Uh, and lastly, there's been omelets for three weeks in a row. A Thursday coming back from break, uh, two Fridays in a row, and we'll see tomorrow if there's an omelet for one month straight. That'd be exciting news. Uh, have a great week. Roll Tide. Go Lions. Welcome back to Quote of the Week. I know it's been a while, but oh boy, we got a real good one from you. For you. From the well-renowned and beloved Trines to Embody department, and it goes a little something like this. Get a chai latte like a real man. That's all I got for you. Stay on the grind. Go Lions! Let's go! Adam answers yes, sponsored by... Your next Book Off News anchor slash possible CEO moving forward. Um, I've heard some rumors from former cast members that they've talked to people who would like to submit a resume. You can do so in the email slash link down below and I will look it over and probably accept you as we have such high standards around here. So that was a pretty strong finish you had there. Do you always finish strong? Well, Family Feud recently pulled 100 women and every single one of them said I was the best finisher in America. I mean, just look at the people we let in, such as Big D. I mean, thank you. Yes. Welcome back to Non-Engineering New of the Week. And ladies and gentlemen, I have some bad news. Since David Cox has no longer been sending out what's going on this week emails, and it's been up to Try Life, who has dropped the ball. We've been getting zero emails. I didn't get an email this week. I don't know what's going on because nobody's telling me. And man, that's atrocious. Uh, on the same note, 
David Cox was seen rolling into work at 8.30 in the morning, which is notably at least an hour before he comes in. So I don't know what, what they did taking his work away. It snowed in October, global warming is fake, and roll tide. That's all I got. I'm Caleb Cruz. I'm Michael Cruz. And we approve this message. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy.